Mr. Noah build an ark. The people thought it was a joke. Good morning, people, and praise God. I hope you're well and keeping safe at home. So welcome today as we continue to learn about trusting in God being the best option. Actually, the only option. So in today's story, we are going to be guided by teacher Judy as she takes us through the lesson of the day. And the person we want to learn about today, boys and girls, is Mr. Noah. So teacher Judy is going to help us to learn how Noah trusted in God. So come on everyone, get ready at home. Let's join teacher Judy in class as she teaches us more about Noah. Thank you for the introduction. I'm happy to be here today, boys and girls. I greet you in the name of Jesus, hoping that you are all fine. So today we are going to start our lesson for today with the word of God. Let's bow down our heads and pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Jehovah God, for your love for your care and for your protection. Lord, today I come before you and I ask you, dear Father, to use me as your vessel. Bless the kids who are going to listen to us today together with their parents. Heavenly Father, we pray and we, we glorify your name, for it is in Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. And the children of God say, Amen. And the children of God say, Amen. Okay, now it is time for us to, to stand up and worship and praise God. Together with Teacher Paminas, we are going to sing. God told Noah to build an ark, to build an ark, to build an ark. God told Noah to build an ark, and Noah built an ark. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. And Noah built an ark. The animals went in two by two. Two by two, two by two. The animals went in two by two, and Noah built an ark. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. Gong, 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 and ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. And Noah built an ark. Wow, thank you boys and girls. Now we can sit down and listen to the word of God. How many are ready for the word of God? How many are ready to listen to the word of God? Today's word of God comes from the book of Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. And this month we have been learning about trust in God. So previously we learned about Lazarus, we learned about David, and today we are going to learn about Noah. Today we are going to learn about who? Noah. Do you know the story of Noah? Okay, I'm going to tell you about the story of Noah. And it is found in the Bible. We said it is found in the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the Bible. So when you open your books, you'll see Genesis, and we open chapter 6. The Bible says that long time ago, during the time of Noah, people were so wicked. God looked down and saw the way people were wicked. They were not doing what was right, what God wanted them to do. People were doing very, very bad things. Like what? Who can tell me what they were doing? Yes, people were fighting. 
abusing each other, which is not good, which God doesn't want, and so many other bad things the other people were doing. But there was one person who was righteous among these people, and his name was Noah, yes. Noah was the only righteous man. The other people had made God sad, but God wanted to save his people. So he said he's going to use Noah, because he could not use the other people who were wicked. So he chose Noah to be the one to save the other people. And God told Noah to build an ark. Have you ever seen an ark? Oh, it's a huge boat. Huge, it is huge. Even, I can't compare it even with the church. It is even bigger than our church, something very big. God, no one had ever built an ark. Noah was the first person to build the ark. And God told him how it is going to be built. Take this, put this, like this, like this. And we know Noah was so obedient to God. So Noah followed every step that God told him. God told him, go bring the wood, cut the wood. And Noah was obedient all the time. Everything that God told him to do, he was doing. So they were building the ark. It was very big. It took them so many years to build the ark. Noah, together with his sons, Noah had three sons. The first one is Ham. You know Ham. The next one is, yes, Japheth. And the last one is who? Shem. Those are three sons that Noah had. So together with his sons, they were building and building the ark day in, day night, because God had told Noah to do that. God wanted to save Noah's family because they were the only righteous people at that time. He was the only righteous man at that time. So God wanted to save Noah and his family. So they built, dong, dong, dong. They were cutting, cutting the woods, doing everything until they finished. So when the ark had been built, the very big boat that was going to save Noah and his family, God told Noah to get inside the ark. Noah, his three sons, we said Noah had how many sons? Three sons, and these sons, they had their wives. So Noah, the three sons, the daughters-in-law, and Noah's wife. How many people are those? I guess there are eight. Eight people went inside the ark. That is Noah's family. They went inside the ark. And again, God told Noah to get inside the ark together with animals, all kind of animals to get inside the ark. The ark was so big that it could accommodate all the animals. The lion was there roaring, ah! The lion gets in. The elephant with, the, with its nose, its trumpet, ooh, it got in. The cat, tell me other animals that went in. The dog, the eagle, yes, the monkeys, even the tortoise, the snakes all kind of animals. God told Noah to get inside the ark with all kinds of animal. And they were not going, mm, all of them, all the family. He was just to choose two, the male and the female. So they got in two by two. Two lions, two zebras, two monkeys, two donkeys, two, two, two and they got inside the ark. Can you imagine how the ark looked with all those animals inside there? Ah, <sighs> me can imagine the way it was. It... And these animals were going to stay in the ark. The ones which went in the ark were going to be safe because inside the ark, 
there was everything. There was food for animal. They had enough meat for the lions, enough grass for the cows. All the animals were going to survive inside the ark. God provided for them. God told Noah to provide everything that is necessary for the animals because it was going to rain. After these animals got inside, Noah and his family inside, the door was locked. The windows are locked. Everywhere is locked. And it started raining. It rained day one. It rained day two. It continued raining day 10, day 20, until day 40. 40 days and 40 nights. Every day it's raining. Every day it's raining. When it rains a lot, what happens? Yeah, the water will not, the drainage is full, so the water has nowhere to go. Now we have the floods. You know floods? The water, water coming up. Because it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, what do you expect? The water had risen, had risen up. It, it had covered all the trees. It had covered all the mountains. Everything was covered with water. The people who were outside the ark, were they really safe? No, they all, all of them were swept away and they died. You know, they are the wicked ones. They are the ones who are doing, who are making God not happy. So they were swept away. They died because of the floods. They had nowhere to live. Their houses had been swept away. They, they don't even know where their children have gone. And they had a lot of problems. Noah and his family were safe inside the ark. They did everything that was supposed to be done inside the ark. So they stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights in the ark. Then, what, after 40 days, when the rains had stopped, but Noah didn't, was not sure whether the, rain, the rains had stopped. So what Noah did, he wanted to confirm whether the rains had stopped. He sent he sent a dove. The first time the dove went, it came back. Oh, so Noah knew, ah, things are not all right. So the dove stayed there. Again, after seven days, Noah sent the dove again outside. The dove went out. It came with a leaf. At least this one gave Noah some hopes. Noah thought, OK, maybe the, the water level is going down now. So they stayed again for some time. And the third time again, Noah sent the dove. This time, it didn't come back. From there, Noah knew that. Things, the water has now gone down and they can get out. Now it was time to release the other animals that were, were inside the ark so that they could go to the land outside there. So what Noah did, Noah could not open the door at first. You know, the, the flood was all over, so he couldn't open even the door. In case he opens the door and there is water outside, that's it could have come inside. So he didn't want to open the door to risk the life of those who are inside. That's why he had to send them. That's why he had to send the dove outside. So when the dove went away and it didn't come back, Noah knew it is time to let all the other animals get out. So he opened the door and the animals came out. They were inside there two by two. Two lions came out, and they saw outside, and they were so happy. But you know, them, they had been saved by Noah inside the ark. The two zebras came out. All the animals that were inside the ark came out, and they were so surprised to see how it looked outside. Imagine staying in for 40 days without going outside. So they were all surprised. They looked out and they were, oh, is this where we used to live? 
But yes, God had good plans for them. So Noah came out after all the animals had gone out. Noah, together with his family, eight of them, they came out. They, they were so happy and they thanked God. They prayed and they rejoiced and told God, thank you, because God had saved them. And now they went outside, outside the ark to continue with their lives. And then after that, after praying and going outside, God sent a rainbow. You know a rainbow? How many colors does the rainbow have? Yeah, it has seven colors. The rainbow, it looks beautiful with those colors. So God sent the rainbow. Why did God send the rainbow? Because to show, Abra, to show Noah that he keeps his promise. God had promised Noah that he was going to save Noah and his family. And you see, for real, they had been saved. All of them were safe. And God sent the, the rainbow and they were happy. So my dear children, dear boys and girls, what we learn from this story is we have to trust in God. We have to obey God. We know God is all powerful. He's the one who has been taking care of us. We've not gone to school for how long? Imagine eight months we've not gone for school because of coronavirus. This pandemic has kept us. We are, we've not seen each other for long. You are missing your friends, but let us trust in God. The way Noah and his family trusted in God. So, dear friends, let us trust in God. We say trusting in God is the best, best option. We trust in God. Okay. Thank you for listening. And now we have our presentation from Gabriela Nduta. She has a memory verse and a presentation. My name is Nduta Gabriela Kimohu, and, and I'm going to sing a song. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Up above the one so high, right like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars, how I want you. <laughs> James 2, chapter 6, verse 9, he says, Noah was a richest man. Thanks so much, Gabriela. May the Lord use you to, for his glory. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening, for listening. And now it's time to pray. Let's put our hands together and pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.